Hey there everybody, this is Russ from Pathless Pedaled and this video is going to be short and it's really just a follow-up to my first video talking about the Beholder EC1. So let's just jump right in. So one of the interesting tatted features of the Beholder EC1 is that it's supposed to be compatible with these really common Manfredo 501 plates. And when I first tried it out, it would not fit. And this was really confusing because I got comments and another video response saying, hey, it does fit on my Beholder EC1. So what gives? Uh, I took a little bit closer look, and what I found is that uh, when I got my Beholder EC1, there's a little tiny grub screw uh, right where this slides in, and its purpose was to prevent the plates from sliding out. So as you're ba balancing your camera, um, if you have it uh, not tied down, it won't slip out the back and fall on the ground. But what I've discovered uh, through different comments and other videos people have done is that if you remove the grub screw, these plates, the Manfredo 501 plates, do in fact fit. So there's a little bit of confusion. Uh, if you get this and out of the box, there's a little grub screw here that prevents the camera from sliding out. Uh, it will also prevent you from using these Manfredo 501 plates. So if you want to use these plates, uh, remove the grub screw, but just be extra careful when you're balancing your camera. And another quirky thing about this whole thing is that uh, you have to put the plate in backwards from the arrow here. So on this receiving end, there's an arrow that says you should put the plate this way, but if you want to use them in for the 501, um, you have to slide that lens first in the opposite direction. I'll do it with an actual camera so you can see how things are supposed to be oriented. Um, so you can see arrows pointing this direction, uh, disregard that, and you want to slide it. And there you go. You basically want to uh, push it in through the back. So that's it for this video. I hope it cleared up the confusion about whether or not you can use these 501 plates. Um, I guess I was both wrong and right. It just did not work out of the box, but you can remove the grub screw and as long as you slide it in in the opposite direction, um, then it'll work. So that's it for this video. I hope it cleared up any confusion. Uh, if you guys have any questions about the Beholder EC1 or you know, there are quirks, leave those in comments below. If you enjoyed the video and found it useful, uh, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching. <laughs>